Welcome to another trailer build video. This is part 4 if memory serves me correctly. In this video we install a window in our side door, get the inside painted, countertops in, and electrical started. Drilling the first hole in the door was a little nerve wracking. After a little cutting I realized I had drawn the wrong side of the ring on the door. Fortunately it was smaller than what was actually needed. I had ordered this window from Amazon. The instructions were not clear at all about the assembly process, it did not come with any templates for cutting, and the hole I made ended up being a little large in the corners. So in the end, I had a beauty ring cut, attached that to the outside of the door, then placed the window into that. Okay, this is it. Once I do it, I can't change my mind. Next up is painting. Sherry went back and forth for weeks. First it was to be painted, then not, then it was again. We settled on painting the inside white to keep things from feeling small. She brushed on the first coat, then we rolled on two more. While painting was happening, I was also working on getting the countertops in. The section above the fridge is able to flip up so you do not have to pull the fridge out every time. The smaller section above the drawers is stationary. We used a 1 inch thick piece of HDPE cutting board material. In hindsight, 1 inch might have been a bit overkill. Madison ended up making us some really cool paracord pull handles for the three largest drawers. The last major obstacle was electrical. We have two 100 amp hour batteries below our bed. There is a panel in the cabin that contains the solar charge controller, some USB and power ports, as well as switches for lighting. There is a second panel in the kitchen, also with power ports and USBs, and additional lighting switches. We have white lighting as well as green lighting. I'll end up doing a dedicated video on the electrical as we get it wrapped up. We hope you enjoyed this video. We were a bit rushed near the end as we had a trip to Death Valley planned that we ended up canceling about a week before we were to leave. The weather was just too unpredictable along the route and roads in the park we wanted to travel were closed due to flood damage. So make sure to come back next week when we try this little guy out at the Oregon coast. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out more than you know. We just hit 40 subscribers 
last week and can't wait to pass the 50 mark.